that our chicken stored outside would now smell sour. Momula, she would smell sour too. In the summer, it was so hot, our clothing would drip with sweat. Hot tea cools the body down, my Momula would say. I preferred the river, the Yerlang Zampo. Flowing from the glaciers in Tibet, she would keep us cool. thoroughly intrigued by this one. I enjoy these short heritage pieces like this, and this one packs a lot in. Um, I was just learning some really interesting things, so I was sort of leaning in the whole time. Um, the visuals were a nice touch. At times I was glad they were there, but there was other times where I feel like the audio was just carrying it so well that you could uh, close your eyes and really just immerse yourself in this one. It just it's a, it's a sort of experience that way. Definitely worth checking out. Told in a way that really feels like almost a bedtime story or, or something. It very much feels like a story that is being passed down. Not simply told, but passed down to a next generation. I think that's because especially of the personal language that is used. The way that the uh, narrator tells the story feels very much like the people she is speaking to are people who are familiar with these people as well as 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 well who have heard these stories told before and time again so one would assume that would likely be her children or her nieces or her nephews and the uh the graphics and the animation are well done they fit well with the tone of the story being told, they are understated and effective. I thought the writing was beautiful for Irlung, and I love the sound effects of the water, the water pouring, the water flowing, all the different water sounds paired with the drawings uh, to tell the story, and I thought it was a really effective use of sort of black and white sketched, not fully complete um, drawings to tell a memoir story that was a little more on the real, a little more on the darker side. And I thought it just worked really well together um, to capture that kind of, of writing within an animation genre. I thought this is a really artistic approach, more of charcoals coming to life, and thought they um, did a nice job with the free form of this piece. Really cool effects with adding motion at key moments to kind of speed that up. It was a heartfelt story and thought they had chosen really unique sound effects to this as well and thought this was really a, a pretty piece. The charcoal drawings in this film are incredibly expressive. I love how the cheeks of the children are brought forward and the fish swims and the uh, swirling seas of the water and it's all seemingly done on a piece of a folded paper so you can see the creases of the paper. It's very cleverly done and I love the storytelling. The narrator is very expressive and she tells the story of three children growing up in Tibet and the customs of the culture and their need to escape the heat uh, and drinking hot tea to avoid getting hot even though all they want to do is swim in the river. It's a wonderful film. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Extraordinary image transitions. They were so smooth and so fluid. I really liked it. It's like going through water and it the effect combined with the monochromatic coloring it it was just very artistic um it is a sad story but somehow also very comforting and also paired up with music it's a great piece i really liked it the movement that was ca captured in uh, Yarlung, uh by the river during the candle scene as well um the never-ending cup of teas uh, that flipped over and smashed at one point. There was uh, even movement in the scene with the running feet and some overlapping of um, sounds there and, and ideas and animations, which were really cool. Um, actually, I have to say again that I loved the sound of the bottomless tea um, flowing into the bottomless cups. Uh, the voiceover was really soothing, the story was really interesting, and the animation overall was really unique. I really liked the, the drawing, like the animation style. It was like a kind of like a shading technique, and I thought that worked really well with the type of story. I think it, it 
fit the story. Um, the use of voiceovers also worked very well. Um, and I feel like we learned so much about the narrator's family life with the voiceovers as well as with the drawings. And then at the end, when we get to see like real life, like, you know, human pictures, um, it really just tied it all together and it helped to bring the entire story alive. So yeah, for that, I really enjoyed this film.